The video clip that follows this one is, is something that I want to share because I, I the term laziness in respect of um, dog owners who choose to use electronic training aids to modify uh, positive reinforcement resistant behaviours in their dogs um, is so wrong, is so far from the mark. And I tried to explain it in this, this particular um, debate with Mark Abraham, who's like a, a TV vet, um, who himself um, described electronic training aid users as lazy. And the question I'd ask is this, I'd ask this, Rachel Casey's another one at Dogs Trust, their vet. Um, the question I'd ask to both of them and to any vet who considers electronic training aids as a um, proportionate and necessary piece of equipment utilized in the correct manner, use, using the right piece of equipment at the right time for the right reasons um, for dogs who cannot be reached through conventional reward-based methods or even conventional uh, disciplinarian, you know, physical chastisement methods, dogs that are at distance, dogs that are performing behaviors that are so intrinsically rewarding that they cannot be out-competed. I would ask of a vet with that mindset in respect of electronic training collars, uh, where, where, where you hear the answer of, or keep the dog on a lead or train the dog, you should put more effort into training the dog to be more responsive to the owner. There is no need to do something as intrusive as you, uh, or invasive as, as using electronic training aid. Then I would ask why you remove the testicles of male dogs and the womb and reproductive systems of female dogs because exactly the same, uh, potential answer, exactly the same alternative uh, method of controlling that issue exists, which is one of better training and better management, right? So if I have a dog who is entire and I think, well, I'm going to desex that dog because I don't want him getting to a bitch in season. Well, if you've got proper management over that dog and you've got proper training over that dog and proper control over that dog, using positive reinforcement based methods, you should never need to do anything as invasive as physically and surgically removing part of that dog's anatomy. And the same applies to a bitch. So if you're going to use that argument of laziness and greater training using positive reinforcement to talk about one aspect of a dog's behavior, which is intrinsically rewarding, such as prey drive, then you really need to apply exactly the same logic to another aspect of intrinsically rewarding canine behavior, which is sexual drive. As a vet, uh, animal welfare campaigner and supporter of the ban on the use and sale, I think they're entirely inappropriate. I think it represents uh, laziness. I think if you're going to get a dog, part of being a responsible pet owner is training that dog. And it's part of the, it, it shouldn't be seen as a, a bad thing or a tiresome thing or something that's boring. It's part of the, the journey you, you spend with your dog. And it's fun because you're bonding and you're teaching it new and, things. And this is a dog trainer doing it. It's not someone who's lazy or can't be bothered. Right, and we the wouldn't, we wouldn't disagree with that. We wouldn't disagree with that. We would 100% support the fact that supervised professional tuition centralised so that it can be monitored. to enforce monitor. someone who's buying one of these devices? Alcohol laws are impossible to enforce. There's always somebody that can break them, but it doesn't mean that you wouldn't put them in place. You wouldn't put a best practice in place. To throw something out with the bathwater to say that it is negative in every instance is incorrect yeah. because there are countless dogs that have benefited. And to come to the point of lazy Laziness, you have owners that have basically spent a fortune in terms of time, effort, investment, emotional, you know, into their animals. They love their animals. That is why. And so if they're they, turning on that, on that subject, let me hold you there. If they love their animals, why on earth would they want to inflict any form of cruelty on them when the alternative is to positively? They're preventing training? cruelty. Then if you stop your dog running under a lorry, either put it on a lead, a long lead, or train the recall to a, a, a position. If your dog isn't trained appropriately for recall, then don't let it off the lead You're when there's a lorry. You're taking an either around. or argument, Pretty Mark. Obvious. You're taking an either or argument. The fact is that the vast majority of With people respect, who use. With respect, there is no argument. Okay. Hey, just, 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 just.